Operators are used to perform operations on or to check on variables and values. Think of them as doctors in programming that can either bring you into existence, give you a checkup, or modify your identity. There are many types of operators, but for this basic tutorial, we will focus on assignment operators, arithmetic operators, and comparison operators. You have already used an assignment operator in the form of the equal sign. So when we type x equal 3, the operator is giving the variable name x the value of the integer number 3. So let's take a look, reopen and take a look at our python underscore, at our gsam underscore python dot py file. And yeah, in this area you can see x is assigned the integer value 3. Next up we have arithmetic operators, which are used to perform mathematical operations on variables and values. So think of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, just to start out. Let's try them out. Here we have some variables A, B, C, D, E, and F, and we have assigned with the um, assignment operator A the value 5, B the value 4, C the value 5 plus 4, etc, etc. And we want to see what's printed after each value on the screen so let's add a print statement in between each line of code just for our learning purposes so let's copy and paste in between each line so we can follow the flow of the information and how the different variables are changed each time all right so we have a we want to print b then C, then C again, then D, and we want to print E after giving it a value, and then F. So, let's walk through the code with the different um, arithmetic operators. So, A is equal to 5. Simply enough, we're going to print 5. B is equal to 4. We're going to print B. Then we have c is equal to the integer value 5 plus 4, which is going to be 9. And we're going to print c. But we also want to make c equal to the integer value, the variable a plus b, which is assigned the values 5 and 4. So we're going to print the value right here. Then we want to say d is equal to c, which is this c, minus 3, which is going to be 9 minus 3, which is 6. We're going to print that value. And then we're going to say e is equal to c, which is still 9, times 4. And we want to print e. Then we want to say f is equal to e, and then this is the division sign, divided by 2. So e, it would be c up here, times 4. So let's save and print that out, and see what we have on screen. So here we have it. A is equal to 5, B is equal to 4, C is equal to 5 plus 4, okay, C is equal to A plus B, which is 5 plus 4, uh, D is equal to 9, which is C, minus 3, E is equal to 9 times 4, which is 36, and then we want to say 36 divided by 2, which is equal to 18. Next, we have comparison operators, which are used to, you guessed it, compare two values. We have the equal to comparison operator, which shouldn't be mixed up with the assignment operator. We have the not equal to, which is an exclamation mark followed by an equal sign. And we have the greater than and lesser than uh, comparison operators. So let's play with these a little and let me explain why comparison operators can be so powerful. So let's delete what we have and say G is equal to A equal equal B and H is equal to C 
is greater than D. Okay? So in the code I just typed, I want to check if A is equal to B. And yeah, from our variable assignments above, we know that A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 4. So what will actually be stored in G would be a Boolean value false. What about the variable H? Follow the code and think about what will be stored in the variable and what data type it will be. So let me just copy some code, hit paste, and then we say, let's follow. So A, so G, sorry, um, will be assigned a value, true or false, if A is the same value as B, which it is not. And then we wanna print G to see what the value is. And then we wanna see what type the variable G is and something similar for H. So let's save print and we can see the variable printed for G is false which is a boolean value as we checked with the type um, function we can see that it's the class boolean or type boolean we can also check on H which is what value it will it be C is equal to 9 and D is equal to 6 so we know that C is greater than D, which means H will be assigned the Boolean value true. So let's recap. We just dipped our feet a little into operators in Python. The assignment operator assigns a value to things. Uh, we looked at some of the simpler arithmetic operators allowing us to add, subtract, divide, and multiply. And finally, we looked at comparison operators, allowing us to check or compare two values or variables. Let's head on to the next video in the series, strings, so it's string concatenation and the length function.